Yo, welcome to the Vibe Providers Podcast. I'm your host, Caitlin. And I'm your other host, Missy. <laughs> and today the vibe we're providing is introductory. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Um, Missy, will you tell them what we're doing? Yeah. Um, I'm a vibe provider now. <laughs> <laughs> she always has been. So, um, Caitlin has always had has always been telling me that we have such a good time. We should do this. Yeah. And I've been afraid of commitment. That's okay. Um, and we, after last time I was on for our last top five, I was like, man, we have so much fun and I love it. Yeah. And I was like, what if, what if I come on? What if I'm a, I'm here all the time? No, truly. Uh, I was, Missy is one of my very best friends. We do a lot together. Um, I've said this before. She's my influencer. Um, she's just a big part of my life. And so, I was complaining about the podcast. I'm so sorry. I never wanted you to know. (laughs) But I just wasn't feeling that spark like in the beginning. It was becoming more of like, I don't know. It was just hard. Hard to get it done and hard to have the motivation. And I was telling Missy that I was struggling with it. And I just was like, ugh. You know, I was feeling, getting like, I I felt like I was getting stalled out. And I mentioned to her like, man, it's so easy when you come on. Yeah. Uh, and I had mentioned like, oh, how fun would it be if like we could just host this together? And she, and then she had mentioned like, oh, that would be great. But commitment. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I don't know. I yeah. think I'm a bad committer in general um, because I, if I'm in something, I'm all in. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I have to be careful what I say yes to. <laughs> <laughs> um, And so... I feel like Missy just was putting a lot of thought into it. Talked to her husband and she was like, you know what? I feel like I can make time for this. Um, and, yeah. and honestly, it doesn't feel like, like work. It's like, we have a nice time. Yeah. We would talk about this stuff. Oh, whether or not there was a podcast involved. No, so truly. we're just here to yap and you are part of our friends. <laughs> uh, so she talked to her husband and she reached out to me and she was like, Hey, how serious were you about me being a host on the podcast? And I was like, very serious. And I'm like, where this is going. And she changed my life within like the first 30 minutes of her texting me saying how, you know, she would like to join if the offer was still there. And she had so many ideas that my brain could have never thought of. And I was, it made me so excited. It was, it felt like I was starting the podcast again. Like yeah. Those, I think we're going to be a good team. Yeah. I think you provide like a fun, energetic energy and I'm like a, a prepared queen. <laughs> yes. Um, your girl, me, not a prepared queen. Um, she's already had so many things and I'm like, wow, it's going to elevate the podcast. I hope you can tell the quality difference the next couple of episodes with Missy that like she just brings a lot that we didn't have. So anyways, okay. to where this is us. This is us now. We're yeah. the vibe providers. Yes. Um, so yeah, this will, will just be a team from here on out. It'll be us and you guys. So, so saddle up. <laughs> no, truly. <laughs> Um, okay, but, uh, we're going to start with a life update. Oh, yeah. Um, life update from me. It's October. Mm -hmm. Spooky Um, season. Which is spooky season, which I love. I do feel like October comes with, like, a a crazy energy. Mm Mm-hmm. Because this is my last month before it's holiday time. That's scary. So, I, like, woke up yesterday both feeling excited and also, like, um, (laughs) I have to have my whole life together, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm Mm-hmm. Um... But I think in general, that's pretty good. I'm excited for October. My life is not very crazy. I mean, I have I have two kids, a three and a six-year-old, and we're doing all the things. Mm-hmm. We're doing school. We're doing tumbling. Ren's starting dance. Ooh. She's very excited. Arkling. Um, So I'm going to be that mom who's like sitting in the car while our kids do a lot of things. Oh, yeah. You're going to need to be... You got books. Yeah, I'm going to be fine. You got audio books. But I now have to like be on time to everything, which oh, yeah, I'm going to yeah. be on time to, but I have to remember it exists. Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot going on. Yeah. It'll be interesting, but I'm excited and that's good. And you, ha- much. and you guys have Halloween costumes already. We already have them. My kids are ready to pick Halloween costumes <laughs> um, September 1st. I love I that. I usually make them wait. Oh. So in case they change their mind, but... They were so adamant this year that They're we already in. have them. We've been wearing them around the house for <laughs> it, weeks. Okay, what are they going to be? Um, Ren is going to be a Squishmallow. It's very cute and fluffy. <laughs> and Milo is going to be a Minecraft Wither. 
Okay. Which has like three heads. It's like a skeleton that floats. Whoa. I know. Oh, I know um, exactly. He showed me. It's very on brand for him. <laughs> truly. So that's our life update. Not too much. Just momming. What about you? Wait. Missy was doing no spend September. Yep. And she just went and got a bunch of groceries from Costco today. I did. It felt so good. So I really did not buy a lot of groceries last month. Yeah. Um, they were eating out of the pantry and the freezer. Yes. And the thing is, I, we still are going to kind of do that. Mm. I'm not planning to do another big Costco haul at all this month. Ooh, you're because crazy. I still have a lot of stuff. Yeah. I was like, okay. man, we ate all month and we still could probably make it another month if my brain could do that. Wow, that's impressive. But let really me tell you, impressive. yesterday I ate tacos out Ooh. because I hadn't eaten out all week <laughs> or all month. And today I went grocery shopping. I'm feeling like a new woman. Wow, well, you're probably like, I freaking love my life now. Yeah, it's feeling great. <laughs> I love eating out. Honestly, buying groceries is, I love it. Grocery shopping's a top hobby for me. I don't like grocery shopping. Oh, I, I used to work for Instacart and I grocery shop for other people. Oh, what? And then COVID hit and I stopped doing that because it like, got I cannot. crazy. Oh, no, truly. Yeah. Um, okay, for me, I just got back into town. I went to Las Vegas to babysit. Or not really babysit. They're middle schoolers. Watch my nieces. Um, I was giving really strong mom energy. Um, again, running the errands, picking up the kids, taking them to dance, all the things. I was I was booked and busy, but I also missed them the whole time. I was like, can we just yeah. skip? And you get a little bored in the middle. <laughs> yeah, we had piano. We had ballet. We had a ballet a bunch of times. And I was like, okay, well, <laughs> let's get it together, people. Yeah. But it was fun. Middle school nieces are awesome. We're still cool to them. As of right now, hopefully we just keep all that energy going until yeah. we die. Well, so, I can see you. You're a cool aunt. So we try. That's for sure. Um, but that was pretty much it. I do need to go grocery shopping though. We are, we are a little, a little scrimping. Yeah. That's okay. It's good for you sometimes. No, truly. <laughs> That's what I just did all month. Oh dude, you're better than me. Okay. So if you've listened to the past few episodes that I've been on, so I've been on three before this, mm -hmm. two top fives and one where I talked about meal planning. Um, you've probably gotten some information about me. Yes. Um, but if you're new or if you've skipped my episodes in the past, I'm so sorry <laughs> you now hear from me all the time. Um, but we're going to do like a little intro. We're going to ask some questions. Oh, yeah. This is Missy's Q&A. Yeah, to get me up to, to get you up to date with me. We need to all be same vibes, like know each other the same amount. We can't just be knowing you and me and not Missy. Yeah. Okay, so okay. I have a bunch of questions. It's going to be good. Okay. Let me pull up my notes up because that's giving Missy. That is. Guys, these are some good questions. Uh, okay. What is your fun fact you use at parties? Okay. This one's easy for me. I use this. I've used it at every one since I moved out of my house, like as a teenager. Okay. And it's that I have won competitions to make the fastest, most perfect Subway sandwich. Whoa. It's called the Sub Jammer. <laughs> So I worked at Subway in high school. Um, so I worked there for like uh, two and a half years before I moved to college. And then I worked at, in college for another like six months or so. Okay. Um, but I was freaking good at my job. <laughs> and there's a competition. And if you win, you like can move on and you can make some money by Whoa. making. So it's a, it's a turkey sandwich. Okay. With all the toppings. But you have to have like the right proportions, the right number of things. Um, the way you wrap it matters and however many like napkins you put into that bag, everything is counted Whoa. and it adds to your time. And so I won districts and I, uh, placed in regionals. <laughs> My husband likes to joke that he only married me cause he knew I could make a good sandwich. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Did you win any money? Um, a little. Okay. Not a lot. But some people, my manager actually won like the world competition, truly. And she made, she made a lot of money. Whoa. I know. So she was serious about it. I don't think every subway was serious about sub jammer. Was she serious while working or just for sub jammer? No, she was serious while working. She oh, was our queen. outrageously fast. Oh. Um, and so I think that she brought the vibe of sub jammer to our store. <laughs> so there was other stores in our area, but not every one of them did it but we sure did Dude, we did it hard i love that 
Uh, what is an Amazon item you recommend to everyone? Okay. So you tell me that I'm your influencer. Yes. Um, and I am a trier. I try everything. So if you tell me, oh, I love these things. I'm like, I probably tried something you would love. But I, I wrote three things down because okay. these are things that are for everyone. And I talk about them all the time. Okay. Um, first, it's not glamorous, but it's called, it's not even cool sounding, Urea 20% Intensive Hydrating Cream. Okay. Um, if y'all got cracked feet, and I feel like the whole world got cracked feet. You're talking to one right now? Um, if they're like a little catchy, you know how sometimes they catch on your like yes. sheets? Yes. Um, this is magic and will heal you immediately. I don't know what about it, but like my feet used to be the worst. And after like three nights using it in a row, they're fully better. So I just like put it on like lotion on my feet every single night. And I swear to you, it works. I recommend it to, <laughs> to everybody. Dude, me and Kalab both need that. Yeah, I'll send oh. you the link. I will see this is why guys yeah it's weird stuff it's never like oh she's really good at recommending (laughs) clothing I'm like no I got cream but also (laughs) I've got a Hugo Gary milk frother milk steamer for milk foam and hot milk (laughs) um so I like to drink my perk we talked about that last time yes um and so I bought this little machine and it's made for milk frothing if you're drinking coffee and there's like a little whisk so it can make it really frothy like foam. Love it. Or there's just a spinner so it can just like warm it gently. Love but it. But it also has a cold setting so you can cold foam your milk. <laughs> I just put all my perk stuff in there and it perfectly blends it and it's, I just put it on ice. But my husband uses it for hot. I love it. I love, love, love it. <laughs> I'm getting one for uh, my sister-in-law for Christmas. She already knows this. We talked about it openly. <laughs> Um, and maybe also I'll probably get one for my mom because she likes a perk, but she just like, I don't know, warms her water in the microwave. Love. Like a heathen. Okay. Um, this is amazing. And everyone needs one if you like drinks. Yeah. Okay. And my last weird thing, I'm completely unrelated to the others because that's how I roll, is an Air 3 air pump mini electric pump. This is a chargeable air pump. Yeah. It's not like for your tires, but it's for like inflatable beach toys oh i put that thing in my beach bag and then if i go somewhere we don't have to blow them up by mouth we don't have to plug it into our car i just whoop everything's blown up it will also take the air out of it game changer um yeah it's amazing you don't have to plug it into anything you just take it with you who doesn't need that no i need that i'm a floaty lover for life yeah and then you never have to blow it up again i love to float so you need this as well oh man okay all three things my top three that are for everyone. Yes. If truly. I know someone specifically, I'll give you more curated advice. <laughs> curated. <laughs> I love it. Uh, what is your top baking tip? Okay. Um, if you want to like increase the quality of this baking product, this is what you need. So everyone who makes chocolatey things uses cocoa powder. There are different variations of cocoa powder. And if you want your chocolate thing to be like rich chocolate Mm -hmm. even if you think you don't like dark chocolate you need dark chocolate cocoa powder hershey's makes one you can also buy like dutch dark process okay usually more expensive harder to find but hershey's special dark is at all the grocery stores okay it doesn't taste like dark chocolate it just tastes like a rich chocolate flavor anything that needs cocoa you should be putting special dark in it okay good to know it will not taste very chocolatey yeah you know those chocolate chunk muffins? I do know your muffins, yeah. Um, I tried making those. We just used regular Hershey's. They were like a light brown. Yes. They weren't dark like they should have been. And they just weren't as chocolatey as they thought they should but be. But if you had used dark cocoa, they would have been. I'm telling you right now, if you're making anything with cocoa, you have to use dark cocoa. It will up the game by times 10. No. Everything you're saying. Nobody needs regular cocoa. No. <laughs> For like, anything. Ever. Every Everything she's saying, I'm like, okay, I'm writing this down. Uh, okay. Top hobbies that are not baking. Okay. So most people know me for food. Yeah. Uh, and baking. I do own a, like a tiny micro bakery in my home. Um, so I have a bakery called checked out kitchen and I do have an Instagram if you're interested in that, Mm -hmm. but I, I do do other things besides that. (laughs) (laughs) Um, as I would say my top hobbies are books, 
which is new this year. That's a new hobby for me. Yeah. Um, and then plants. Oh, I'm obsessed yeah. with plants. If yeah. you've watched my videos this year or this last month where we wore our closets, we have like a little like library front room that is just plants and books. Yes. And that is me and my husband to a T. I love it though. Um, I love plants. And I have a sister-in-law who has a plant podcast and I didn't know it's that. called uh, Plant School. Plant School. That's and perfect. That's a perfect name. It's perfect. And also I text her all the time and I'm like, look at this plant. What do you, what do you think it needs? <laughs> Cause I like to have plants, but I don't, I don't, I'm not an expert, yeah. but I love them. And I like the Trader Joe's. I'm buying the plant every time. Yeah. Costco had some really nice ones today that I almost got. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't. I know, Mom, but I had, I bought a tree during no spend month. So yeah, but, but it was a good one. It was on it's sale. A, yeah. It was a cute tree. Yeah. I needed it. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Plants and books are high up for me and books typically the mystery or the fantasy genre yes okay i like those things and i like to bake and cook she does it all ladies <laughs> and gentlemen now this is just making me think of your sister-in-law and how like if we lived in harry potter's world she'd be like horticulture teacher. she would be yeah. yeah her vibes are good no for real <laughs> favorite type of food or restaurant I'm a Mexican food girl. Yes, I did know that. If I could choose any food in the world, I would be eating tacos. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter what kind of taco. I'm not a taco snob. Yeah. Um, it can be white people tacos <laughs> on a hard shell. Love that. Yeah. Did you know you can now buy hard shells that are nacho cheese? <gasps> Shut up. Yeah, you sure can. They're good. What? Um, <laughs> Those are the best tacos from store. Taco Yeah, like Bell. a Doritos Locos, but it's just like El, old El Paso or something okay they're good i love uh, i love that kind of taco i love street tacos i love those big tacos with the melty cheese oh yeah i and i don't care what kind of meat's on it either i'm gonna eat it all tacos <laughs> are my favorite food oh. and if anyone's like where should we eat i'm like what mexican food yeah mexican food is what i want does your husband mitch feel the same no Ugh. unfortunately no mitch he will get something else and i will get mexican food like we will literally go to two different restaurants I feel like that's how you gotta keep. That's I mean, it's, yeah. if it works. Sometimes you can get him to eat a burrito if it's like a Cafe Rio situation. Oh, I do love Cafe Rio burrito. But in general, he's not picking that ever. Okay. So sometimes I get Jurassic Taco. Okay. And Mitch gets Panda I Express. Love. Okay. Which I don't know why he gets it because it hurts. It hurts everybody's tummy. Yeah. I truly. don't know anybody who can eat Panda and not regret it a little. Yeah, please let us know. But if he you. will get something else. Okay, our king. <sighs> yeah <clears throat> what is your personal vibe okay i thought hard about this one because i would really like my personal vibe to be like cool chill <laughs> um <sighs> and i i'm just i'm not <laughs> um so i'm describing my personal vibe as all in and over prepared <laughs> oh i leave perfect um nailed it because i would like to have it seem like i'm cool as a cucumber and but the only reason is because i've thought of every scenario that could ever happen and yeah. i've planned for all of them so i am cool as a cucumber because i have endless amounts of plans <laughs> um i also have like a joke with my family that i don't uh i don't half-ass anything no i whole ass it yeah everything i do yeah so like truly if i commit I'm so all in. So this is a big deal that it Missy is. is a host on the podcast. But now I'm going to think about it constantly for the rest of my life. I love <laughs> That's why this podcast is going to become better and better. Yeah. So unfortunately, my vibe is maybe a little more anxious than I would like it to be. But <laughs> we're just a relatable podcast. Yeah. Uh, you know, some fun and some high functioning anxiety. That's what I, <laughs> that's my vibe. I love it. Okay. What is a conspiracy theory you kind of believe? Okay. I have two. And one is maybe not a conspiracy. It's like a legend. I'm going to start with conspiracy. Um, did you... I don't know if you've heard this one. <laughs> Disney made the movie Frozen to s cover up people being able to search for Disney's head being frozen. Oh, yes. I have heard about it. Um, because if you used to type in Disney's Frozen, it would be like, oh, they cryogenically froze his head or something you know yeah that's weird um but now if you type in disney frozen all you're getting is the movie content yeah and i just feel like it lines up too too nicely yeah and it feels like it that might be it 
I kind of believe it. Yeah. And I do kind of believe that I didn't used to believe that his head was frozen, but now that this exists, I believe it all. Yeah. Truly. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's what I think. Okay. The second one I think is actually like a legend, but I've fallen down like a TikTok hole. Don't we all? Man. And now I'm, now I'm in, <laughs> I'm full in. Um, have you heard of like ocean sirens? No. It's another name for maybe types of mermaids, but not necessarily. They can be a different form. But women in the ocean who lure sailors into the ocean and the sailors die because they've lured them in. Whoa. But the TikTok that I'm falling down are people who are on boats recording siren songs. And I just, I don't know. I'm after about 12 of them i'm all in you're like it's actually making perfect sense <laughs> it's actually adding up to me um it that if you go out. into the dark ocean and it's always like they're in the middle of the ocean and it's like pitch black out there which spooky no um, true and then you can hear like a woman singing i'm like no 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 this is real yeah. and i believe it now no truly <laughs> whoa I was not expecting <laughs> both of those. Yeah. I mean, they're a wild variation from my regular personality, but... Um, yeah. But it makes it fun. But I'm full in now. Yeah. I believe in sirens, and I believe that Disney's head is frozen, and they tried to cover it up. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's, that's <laughs> wild. Oh, okay. What is your karaoke song? Okay. My karaoke song is Your Love Is My Drug by Kesha. I love that song. Oh, my gosh. I don't know when this song came out. I was in high school, probably. Yeah. 20, um, yeah, when Kesha was, like, a big, big deal. Yeah. I know every single word. I have loved it my whole life. And it's in the right range for me. Oh, okay. Like, there's some songs I love, and they're just too high. Yeah. You can't karaoke that stuff. No. You know? Yeah. Um, and this is perfect for me. Okay. And, you know? It's now a I'm little bit of, like, a it. talk sing. And, you know, like her yes. rappy bits. And that's what I'm in for. Yeah. I'm choosing that first at uh, every karaoke thing I go to. Love. I feel like now we need to go to karaoke. Oh, my gosh. It'd be so fun. <laughs> no, truly. Now I need to figure out. I one. like the karaoke places where you can book like a an individual room. It's not like you and a thousand people you don't know. Yeah. I like it to be me and my five best close friends singing stupid stuff. Yeah. Count me in for that. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we can do a Christmas one and Kalal can come. Oh, Kalal would can, love that. He can carol. Kalal would be like, how about you guys just sit and then I'll put on a concert oh, for Oh, that would be fun too. I'd be into that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what weird item do you keep in the car? Okay. Scissors. Full size scissors. Full size. Um, Every time someone's like, oh, I can't get this open. I'm like, I have scissors in here. They're like, no, you don't. I'm like, I do. And I use them all the time. <laughs> um, oh, another Amazon item that I always use are those like bags that like they're zippy and different colored zippers in different sizes. Yep. So my whole center console has those. Yes. In different sizes, little ones for cards, bigger ones for like electronic stuff. I have one that holds extra straws, pens. Love it. And scissors. Love. And the amount of times I've used those scissors is uncountable. Everyone needs to be keeping scissors in their car. It's funny you said full size because I actually keep scissors in my car, but they're kids' scissors because it was like I got them at the dollar store one yeah. time when I needed scissors in the car. But sometimes you need like a good scissor. Like you can't, you got to be cutting through hard plastic or something. Truly. You need good scissors. No, truly. But everyone should have those. I fully believe that. Yeah. It would solve so many problems. It would. Sometimes they give you, have you ever been to Swig and they give you a kid cup and they give you the full size straw? Oh, I And it hate sticks that. out like way yes. too high. I'm like, how are they going to drink this? I Scissors, know. cut that sucker down. Love it. <laughs> I'm like, I just, I just am passionate about people needing car scissors. <laughs> uh, list the order you get ready. So for example, makeup, hair, get dressed. Yeah, I feel like I'm not very exciting because I don't have a large process. Um, I do usually shower at night, so I don't put that in my lineup. Yeah. Um, I always wash my hands first thing in the morning. I wash my hands in the morning, too. I mean, everyone usually goes to the potty, too. But even if I didn't have to, I would wash my hands. Me, too. Kala thinks it's weird. There's something about it that I'm like, it's time to wash my hands. <laughs> no, I feel like I have to start clean. Yeah, before I do anything, I yeah. wash my hands. Yeah. Um, then teeth brushing. Yeah. Then deodorant. Mm-hmm. And the deodorant is in that place for a specific reason, because if I put lotion on my face first, I can't move the deodorant up 
Mine yeah. is really hard to push on the bottom. Like, you know, they have that spinner thing that yeah. makes it go up. Uh-huh. If my hands are slippy from having lotion on them, I can't. Yeah. I can't do it. So it has to come before my face. I can't take the face. lid off of mine. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to time that carefully. No, truly. Uh, then makeup, then hair. And sometimes... Makeup, then hair? Yes. We haven't even gotten dressed yet, right? Nope. Hmm. I don't get dressed till the end. Occasionally, I will get dressed before I do my hair if I know I'm going to put it up. Okay. So that I don't screw up the mess, you know? Yeah. But usually, even before I get dressed, I will have brushed it, put like dry shampoo in it, and maybe fix some pieces, like with a straightener or curling iron or something. Yeah. And then I will get dressed, and then I'll come back to put it back up. Okay. But I do all of it in my not pajamas, because I don't wear pajamas. I just wear like a big t-shirt situation. Yeah. Um, huh. And then I'm out the door. Okay. But I, all of that collectively, 15 minutes. Oh, you're a champ. Um, me and my husband share a morning routine with our children because we have like, we got to get ready for school and stuff. Yep. So my husband gets up and immediately goes downstairs with the kids and makes breakfast while I get ready. Um, so Mitch goes downstairs with the kids early in the morning and makes breakfast while I get ready. Okay. So I get ready pretty quickly. Yeah. Occasionally, I might take a little longer if I have like, I really have to do something with my hair. Okay. Um, but 15, 20, 25 if it's a rough day. You Ooh. know, if I've got things to do, <laughs> 25 maybe. Okay. But then we swap. He goes upstairs and gets ready and goes to work. And I go downstairs, make lunches, get the kids dressed and off to school. Love it. So that's our thing. I'm a fast get readier. Yeah, you are. And I'm sure it could take me longer if I wore more makeup or did anything other with my hair than put it in a claw clip. But Dude, that's what works. That's so what I do every we're day. We're <laughs> just sticking to what works. If my hair is not in a claw clip, you know I've worked pretty hard. <laughs> no, same. Uh, okay, what are your love languages? Okay, um, I know some people say like their give and receive are different, but mine is just acts of service. Um, You're like, just help me out. Yeah, or I will help you out. My husband yes. always jokes that I'm not very empathetic because I'm not a coddler. I'm yeah. not going to tell you, oh, poor baby, I'm so sorry. Yeah. But I will make you chicken noodle soup. Yeah. And I will, like, arrange my schedule so you get some rest. Yes. I will do those things for you. But I will not come in and tell you how sorry I am. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I feel like I'd want the things that you are giving, the chicken noodle yeah. soup. And- my husband would really like a little more coddling than I currently do. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and I think for receiving, it's the same. But if I could be more specific, I think my love language to receive is not having to ask. Mm. Like if someone does something without me having to ask about it, I'm like, you're I'm like, so I could love you so more. Loved. Yeah. yeah. Like the act of having to ask makes it a little less good, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so if he comes down and he's just is like, I did the things without you asking, I'm like, I love you. No, truly. Truly. Not having to ask is my love language. I love that. I'm going to add that to mine. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Celebrity crush re- when you were in high school. Okay, I have two. And I don't think that they are uh, an unusual experience. I feel like every girl... So I'm 31. Let's preface this. We're um, both 31. I'm st- we're straight up millennials. <laughs> um, Chad Michael Murray... From the Cinderella story <laughs> with Hillary Duff. Oh, guilty. Um, it's that specific version of him. And then Zac Efron. Oh, duh. I don't know a girl who's interested in men <laughs> who did not love Zac Efron. No, truly. Truly. High School Musical, baby. Oh. So cute. Yeah. 17 again. Oh. Kind of spicy. Yes. Love. Yeah. I'm into that. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. no, for real. I was obsessed with him. Yeah. And I think I watched the cinderella story probably 45 times at least it's such a good movie one i was a lizzie mcguire girl so i was fully in on hillary duff same but he was real cute he was with the buzz cut yes oh i love oh (laughs) what is at the top of your wish list right now like the next thing you're like i'm buying that um the next thing i'm buying and this is not this is not a collective experience. Sorry. <laughs> um, is a heat sealer. Um, so I can like individually package things. Yes. Like you put them in the little plastic and then you seal it and then it just crisp line and it's like. Yes. Yeah, so you can buy like a cookie in it. Yeah. Like you. Yeah, exactly. Love it. 
Um, so I'm like, I realize nobody else really needs that except me, but yeah, truly, it's on my list and it's really not that expensive. So why am I not buying it? I no, don't know. Truly. But I, I'm just like, maybe I'll leave it there and see if, <laughs> see if my mom gets it for me for Christmas. No, truly. I hope she listens to this. <laughs> She's good about buying off lists. So she oh, probably Oh, our queen. Um, a movie you could watch over and over. Um, my favorite movie in the whole world is Why You Were Sleeping. This is a Sandra Bullock movie from the 90s. I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh my gosh. Maybe we're changing our movie night. We are. Instead of Twilight, we're watching. Uh, <laughs> I love this movie so passionately. Some people think it's a Christmas movie because it's set at Christmas time. Yeah. But Christmas is not a character. It yeah. just is. It's the setting. It's kind of like the holiday. Yeah. You're like, it's not really the thing. Yeah. But people watch it at Christmas time. Yeah. I watch it all the time. Let me be clear. <laughs> um, it's a cute little romance. She f- is in love with this guy without ever having to speak to him. She's like watched him go past her oh, little ticket booth. Cute. Over and over. And she like loves him. She <laughs> saves him off of the train tracks and he's in a coma. <gasps> and then his family believes that they're getting married. And so she's, she doesn't know how to fix the fact that they believe that. And so she's just she's just moving along well i need to watch this but then the brother is pretty sexy Ooh. you know yes so how does it end who does she with how's the family react when they find out that she's not supposed to, that she's not actually engaged to him i have to watch this tonight. you gotta watch it i love it so much <laughs> guys we've come to our last question i'm so sad because this is going so well i'm like learning so much but also i'm like yes that is my friend um okay the last one what do you do to get yourself out of a funk um i spend time with friends ah which really at this point is mostly caitlin she has to pull a lot of weight in this no i truly do love it though because it's honestly same i'm like i love my family but if i have to get out of a funk being with the same people i've been with uh doesn't always do it for me yeah but getting out being with a friend and feeling like a like a i'm a human that's separate from motherhood yep. from my house makes me feel so much better so honestly this podcast is a gift for me oh it's a gift for me good uh because i get to come here and just be just me and we're just yapping yeah <laughs> so yeah this right now is what makes me out of the funk it's pretty oh great. this is so fun i had no idea that was gonna be your answer yeah i'm so excited I'm so excited to be a vibe provider with you. Same. I just, I want to tell everyone all your great ideas right now, but I they're can't. Gonna see, they're because gonna they're going to just know over time. They're like, <laughs> wow, this is really becoming something <laughs> that it wasn't before. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know your other host, Missy. Um, she's super fun. She is going to bring a lot to the podcast, especially her vibe. And we just wanted to say thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye.